Hello, it's Leanne, and I just want to welcome you to the third session of Pieta, um, this series of Pieta, where we are studying the Pieta prayer and tying scripture with it, the prayer of being. Pieta is a spiritual movement of compassion and love for ourselves, others, the earth, and all God's creatures. And if you're looking for a place um, to grow spiritually in your compassion, please join Pieta. We are a Christian group. Our texts are from the Bible, but people of any faith tradition are more than welcome to join us, and we'd love to hear your perspective on things as well. So welcome to Pieta. Uh, we named ourselves after this beautiful statue, the Pieta by Michelangelo, and uh, we simply try to love each other with the same love that Mary had for her son. And um, it sounds easy, but it's a huge, huge task. So we're just trying to grow in our compassion and love. I'm glad that you are here. Let's begin with our Pieta prayer tonight, um, the prayer of being. Let me be in the world with nothing to prove, letting go of all expectations and judgment. May I give and receive compassion. May I care for others and receive their care. May I love deeply and receive love. May I be in the world with nothing to prove. May I be Pieta. Tonight, our focus words are um, from the first line, let me be in the world with nothing to prove. We're going to look at the nothing to prove line. How is it that we can be in the world with nothing to prove? So our scripture today is from Matthew 21. And just to give a little context um, for what's happening, this is kind of a bridge scripture. So Jesus has been doing his ministry. He's been healing people, caring for people, listening to people. Um, just doing all of the things that God has called him to do, put him on this earth to do. And he's been very faithful, but he's grown tired. And so right before the scripture that I'm going to read for you, he enters Jerusalem on a donkey. He knows that this will be his probably final entry into Jerusalem. He knows that his death is coming because everyone is getting angry with him. Um, he goes to the temple and he gets angry at them for selling things and he tips over tables and then there's a poor fig tree and he curses it. So we see a tired Jesus, an exhausted Jesus, and that's part of what happens when you live in the world with compassion. You get tired. It's, it's hard. It's hard work. Um, and Jesus is very faithful. And so then he goes back to the temple and it says he enters the temple courts and while he is teaching, the chief priests and the elders came to him. And they say, by what authority are you doing these things? Who gave you this authority? And Jesus asked them a question. I'm going to ask you a question. If you answer me, I'll tell you by what authority I'm doing these things. John's baptism. So John was his cousin. He was baptizing in the wilderness. Where did John's baptism's authority come from? Was it from heaven or was it of human origin? And the scholars who spend all day in the temple discussing things um, begin to discuss among themselves what the answer to this question is. And they say, if we say from heaven, he will say, well, then why didn't you believe John? But if they say of human origin, we're afraid of the people for they all think John is a prophet. And so they say to Jesus, well, we don't know. And so Jesus says, well, if you don't know, John said I was the disciple, the, the um, son of God. John said that I was the one that God had sent, and you don't know what to make of John, so I'm not going to explain it to you. John already told you, and you don't believe him or you're confused. I can tell you, but you're still going to be confused. And so Jesus says, well, neither will I tell you what authority I'm doing these things. You can't answer my question. I'm not going to answer yours. And, you know, then he, he does a really smart thing. He tells a story, a parable. And he says, you know what? There are two brothers. One of them, um, they're both told to do something by their father. And one of them says, I'm not going to do it. And the other one says, sure, I'll do it. But the one who says, sure, I'll do it, does nothing. And the son who says, I'm not going to do it, does what the father requests. And he says, which one of these is doing the will of the father? The one who talks about it and does nothing, or the one who actually does the work of the Father? And of course, everyone knows the answer to the question is the one who does the work of the Father. So Jesus has said, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to talk about this with you. I'm not going to try to explain to you that I've been sent here by God. You didn't listen to John. You're not going to listen to me. And then Jesus says, look at the actions. You've seen what I've done. 
I am the brother who did things. You've seen them. You've seen me heal the blind. You've seen me take care of the sick. You've seen my compassion. You've seen my love. Are these not things that God asks us all to do? So I'm not going to discuss this with you. I'm about doing my father's work. And I don't have to explain that to anybody. So when I look at our Pieta prayer and it says, let me be in the world with nothing to prove. You know, we are a compassionate movement. We're trying to be in the world to be compassion and love for other people. And we are trying to, to the best of our ability, to grow deeper in our compassion, to become more loving. And it's a hard journey. And it's a journey between us and our God. And there are people that will stand around and say, well, you're part of a compassion. I don't think you're very compassionate. I don't see your love. Well, who, who dreamed this up? Who's the one who's, who's setting the rules? Who's telling you? We don't have to explain any of that. We're a movement of compassion and love. And so what we need to do is be in the world. Try to be compassionate. Try to be loving and do our best. And it is not our job to explain that to anybody or to defend it or to worry about what other people think about us and, and intimidate us um, by saying, you know, you're not that compassionate or you're not that loving or you're not always compassionate, whatever. We got to let all that go. Jesus did the work of his father. We are doing the work that we are called to do. And Jesus said, I'm not going to explain this to you, nor am I going to let you stand here and judge me. It's the same with us. Let us be in the world with nothing to prove. Just get out there and do what you do. And if people judge you, or if you feel judged, or if you feel that you're not doing enough, let all that go. All you need to do is be yourself, and it will speak for itself. When we look back at Jesus and we look at his love and his compassion and his goodness, there is no question in my mind that that came from God. His actions are all we needed to see. So let us be in the world with nothing to prove. Everything that you need to prove will be shown in your actions. As you love, as you are compassionate, as you're trying to grow, as you're honest. That's all that's required of you. Forget what other people think. Let me be in the world doing the work of God, the work of love and compassion. I don't care what other people think about it between you and God. So be yourself. You've got nothing to prove. Our question um, for tonight is um, very simple. It's just, when did you see someone offer compassion and love and see God in that compassion and love? When were their actions everything you needed to know about them? Uh, Mother Teresa said, not all of us can do great things, but we can all do small things with great love. So where did you see another person, you know, observe them? Because that's what people are doing for you. They're watching you. And as you are loving and compassionate, you are changing their lives and you don't need to say anything. Who did you see do something and it inspire you? Ponder that. That's your question for tonight. Um, let's be still for a minute and just kind of ponder that. And my blessing for you is that you don't worry about doing great acts of compassion and love this week. Um, do small things. Be compassionate. Be loving. Be yourself. And don't worry about what other people think. May you be yourself this week with nothing to prove. You are the hands and feet of Christ. As you love, as you care, people will see it and they will be inspired. You don't have to prove it to anybody. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next week. We'll continue through our prayer.